All right, Flix Talkers, so I am sitting on the ground making a couple of piles, doing some late spring cleaning, fixing my main shelf, movie shelf right here. Uh, you guys have seen it in a couple of videos probably. In the other room, I have about three shelves, and I like to keep those stocked with some of the films that I haven't seen. Now, one, two, three, four piles. This is all movies I haven't seen, but I've picked up either from thrift stores, Dollar Trees, whatever have you. This stuff I plan on giving to a trade-in place very, very soon, which you'll see later on in this video. And uh, yeah, they this is this is at least like 60 right here, DVDs and Blu-rays, some not even, you know, opened yet. So my whole goal today is to just fill this stuff, which I already did these top two rows, which is just action. Working on the last couple of rows, obviously more than just the last couple of rows, but kind of filling this in with comedy. Then we go to drama, and the last couple are for horror. And I think there's like a little bit of family stuff because I don't have too much family and animated. So wish me luck, but all this stuff on the shelf stays on the shelf forever as far as like rewatch value. I consider classics. So yeah, let's just go in and see what I can get for all of these it's probably going to be like a trade-in value type of situation because they like to give you a little more than you know what you should be getting in cash so yeah let's go what's going on flix talkers so it is a few days later after dropping off my physical media now i could have sworn it's got to be over a hundred titles yet they called me up and only accepted 75 so i'm going to go in there see what they didn't want to take it was probably just common stuff that they usually have a lot of copies of like men in black or super bad or I don't know, I'm trying to think of what I kind of gave them that could have been a very, very common title, but we'll see in a second. And over the phone, roughly from what I remember, they wanted to either give me $45 in cash, which is very, very low balling, or $75 in in-store credit. Now this is a place that, I'll show you guys in a second, has a lot of used and brand new physical media, so it might be better to go over the ladder, you know, and just kind of get that $75 credit for the 75 titles, that's rough one dollar each guys i know most of you guys may be thinking like geez you know you're only getting 75 dollars in store credit for 75 titles hey it's better than just donating it for free or trying to sell it you know i mean a lot of people you know in these facebook marketplaces and whatnot are not really trying to pay more than a dollar for physical media so sometimes it's good to go to a place like this and then you can kind of pick and choose based on their collection of thousands and thousands of titles guys so let's just go in and I found good titles here for like $5 and under on Blu-ray as well. So we're going to go inside, guys. It's a hot freaking day, by the way. I had such a hot week. I'm coming straight out of work. So we're going to go in here and let's see if I can find anything. Okay, so they give me back a lot of titles and it must have been like 150 total now that I'm thinking about it. So back in my car because I'm going to drop them off really, really quick guys and then go back inside because I am kind of fiending to see what they have that I could possibly pick up. But I'm just kind of curious what they return. So this one right here with Jason Lee, you know, I, I'm not surprised. So some dollar store titles that are probably just like not worth anything. Um, Ace Ventura. You know, because I think it's on Blu-ray. Jurassic Dead. Yeah, who would want that? So, you know, stuff like that. What other Blu-rays? Revolt. So a couple of Dollar Tree stuff they weren't really interested in, probably because they did look it up. And, um, and yeah, they just didn't want them for whatever reason. So, oh, God, I don't blame them. Yeah. And, like I said before, it's probably super bad. <laughs> and this is actually coming back from that store. So I tried to return a copy that I had bought from them at one time. I think it's pretty funny. I'm so dumb for doing that. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But yeah, so I'm probably going to be donating these um, to, you know, their store and whatnot and uh, Goodwill. And then, um, yeah, or even going back and watching them. Because a lot of these I didn't even watch. I just would pick up every everything from the Dollar Tree, man. And it was like an addiction. And uh, yeah, so let's go back inside, guys, and uh, see if I can find anything to use for this $74 credit. 
All right, so this is the whole U section, guys. But I like to check this section out first because this is like the ones that just came in. Like people just dropped them off. So looking for blues, looking for blues. And you can see usually they're about five bucks and under. And that's what I like to go for. So yeah, let me just go through here. Roughly see if I can find anything good and then I'll show you my pickups after. All right guys, I am back at the Flix Talk man cave and I'm ready to show you guys what I did pick up with my $74 in-store credit with all of those DVDs and Blu-rays that I did turn in. So I like to do this every couple of months once I pick up some Dollar Tree or thrift store finds that I'm no longer gonna keep on my shelf for whatever reason. Either I just didn't like the movie, doesn't have rewatch value, I'm giving it away. And I like to give it away to this store so they can kind of, you know, give the opportunity to make a little money back and give me a credit as well to kind of go shopping. And then that's kind of like the, the, the circle of life, <laughs> right? When it comes to physical media, at least for me. So I definitely recommend you guys support your local kind of and Blu-ray or 4K, you know, shops that are still doing that. So look into that because there's still a lot of shops doing that. Now, my first pickup right here is a complete blind buy and it was only $2 on Blu-ray. Never even heard of this movie, but Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston, it is Rockstar. Now let me know if you guys have seen this one or even know anything about it at all. Uh, but this one, it says, by day, Chris Cole repairs photocopiers. By night, he takes the stage as front man for a tribute band. I gotta actually hold it over here because last time I was holding the physical media over my microphone and it created like a weird sound rift. So by night he takes a stage as a front man for a tribute emulating Steel Dragon, the world's hottest heavy metal band. I love me some heavy metal. I grew up on it, guys. Really did grow up on it. That's actually like my, the first groups that were kind of introduced to me were metal bands, hair bands. And it looks like he's a hair band guy on the back here. So for $2, let me know if Rockstar is worth it. Have you guys seen it in the comments below? Now, the next one right here is has an amazing cast right here. I, I know I've seen this name. No clue what this movie's about. So this is going to be a first time watch for me. This is a blind buy. It's Sandra Bullock, Samuel L. Jackson. Kevin Spacey and Matthew McConaughey. It is a time to kill. It's kind of always hard to hold this on my right, on, on the right side of me right here. So let me see if I can maybe go to the side right here, give you guys a better look. It has a lot of plastic wrap. It doesn't really help the reflection. Uh, but this one right here, it says it's a John Grisham best-selling novel, A Time to Kill, hits the screen with uh, Incidery Force, directed by Joel Schumacher. So you got a, a powerful director and a powerful you know, uh, uh, this is based on a, a novel by John Grisham, so this is awesome. Uh, and it deals with a, uh, you know, a lot of racial tension in Mississippi. Oh, racist Mississippi. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It goes together in the worst way, right? So it does star Sam Jackson, and it looks like he's the victim of, of this racist crime. Um, don't know much about it. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Can't wait to watch it. All right, guys. Now, the next one is a film that I had recently watched in preparation for Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, you know, months back and whatnot. And it is Kong Skull Island. And I will say, I'll be honest, this is my favorite out of all of the movies that I saw. Godzilla 2014. Get you Godzilla back in the late 90s for that reason, you know, with uh, Matthew Broderick. The Peter Jackson King Kong. This one is it, guys. This one was so, so good to me. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Brie Larson. Uh, man, you got a really, really cool cast. Tom Hendelson as well. Um, John C. Riley. the list goes on. This is a fantastic soundtrack as well, too. So they have a slipcover. Need I say more? Kong Skull Island, you guys know about it. Let me know if you guys have seen it down in the comments below. Now, the next one, surprisingly, is going to be a first-time watch for me. This one will always come on TV, but I've never seen it from the beginning. It is Species. Now, a lot of people say it's either a good or a bad movie. I don't know. I, I really couldn't tell you what it's even about. I'm looking at the back right here. I know it has Natasha Hest Hedstridge. God, Hedstridge. I always butcher these last names. This is all I remember her from. I mean, maybe in the 90s she was doing other things, but this is kind of what I remember her from. As well as, I believe, there he is, Forrest Whitaker. Oh, wow, Alfred Bellina's in this and Michael Madsen. Whoa, this is going to be a cool first time watch, guys. Like I said, I've only, is that Ben Kingsley as well? Ben Kingsley, I think so. Yeah, it looks like him in the picture right there. Yep, that's him playing Xavier Fitch. But uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't know what this is about. I think this is like some kind of alien creature feature type of movie. More sexualized, obviously, with Natasha, uh, her character right there. You guys let me know, is this a good 90s horror sci-fi uh, thriller movie? Once again, it's going to be a first time watch for me on the channel, so look forward to that one. Next one is a complete blind buy, but I saw it on the on the shelf and I was like, man, a lot of people have been telling me to check out some of these older flicks. And this one in particular has some of the best car chase scenes out there, like just, uh, you know, documented in history, cinematic history. It is Steve McQueen Bullet. You guys let me know if you've seen this. Robert Duvall, right, too? Or Robert... Uh, um, yeah, yeah, Robert Duvall is in this one as well. Don Gordon. I don't know these other actors' names. Uh, but Robert Vaughn, uh, Steve McQueen. You guys let me know. Is Bullet a cool one? So this one seems like a detective, you know, uh, chase scene type of, of movie. Uh, maybe a Gone in 60 Seconds type of movie. You guys let me know. Have you seen Bullet? Is it one of Steve McQueen's better films? I know he has a lot out there uh, you know i can't name them off the head but a lot of you guys on the channel tell me to definitely check out steve mcqueen flicks all right now next one i've seen this a billion gajillion times i just don't have it in my collection for whatever reason mainly because i grew up on these i think my dad probably is, is the one that had them the physicals of, of vhs and dvd of this and uh we grew up on martial arts movies like a lot of like a lot of families you know, the males, a lot of us grew up on action and martial arts movies. That's just kind of what it was. So Chuck Norris, Van Damme, Steven Seagal, and I'm talking about Bruce Lee, man. Bruce freaking Lee, the OG, died too soon, man. The Curse of the Dragon, unfortunately. Enter the Dragon, though. I've never had this one. Now, this is, I think, my most expensive pickup at uh, $9 right here. Didn't even mention the other ones. I'm sorry, guys. They have the tag on them. I'm so excited just to talk about these pickups. Uh, but this one is $9. I looked it up. It's going for a little more on Amazon. So I'm like, you know what? Here's a perfectly good copy right here. Let me just add it to my collection. And it's worth it. This movie is worth it. A lot of Bruce Lee's films are five out of fives to me, if not a four out of five. Like, I've really had a good time with them. I think just mainly because of his um, skills in martial arts. Maybe not the acting so much, but you know what? This one is, is a really, really cool flick. And um, yeah, you guys let me know if you have seen this one. This is such an entertaining film, Enter the Dragon. Let me know what that ranks with you with the Bruce Lee films as well. Now, next one up. A lot of you guys may forget about this one. I remember seeing this one way back, so it'll almost be like a first-time watch for me. But I love the tagline. Well, it's not a tagline, but it's a quote up here on the top. It says, forget the Matrix. This movie will blow you away. It's Tay Diggs and Christian Bale right there. Equilibrium. Now, this is an alternate cover. I've never seen this cover right here, guys. I think it's the Canadian release. So usually you've seen that one with him, the two guns, like, can't see me in the, in the frame, but it shows Christian Bale, Christian Bale with the two guns and, like, the trench coat looking very Matrixy, right? Yeah, this one was a really, really good one. On the back it says, two thumbs up from Ypert and Roper. Spectacular gun battles and fight scenes. That's from what I remember. That's kind of what it was, you know, a very futuristic. I, you know what? I don't know. i got to rewatch this, man. I really, it's been such a long time. I haven't seen it for about 20 years. So you guys let me know. Equilibrium, is that a good pickup? That one's five bucks. Most of these are anywhere from five to six dollars, by the way, guys. I forgot to tell you. Uh, other than that, Enter the Dragon, that one was nine dollars, the most expensive. Now, the next one is a blind buy. It's going to be on my first time watch list. I just picked it up because a lot of people do talk about this one. I like these actors involved. It's Michael Douglas and Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction right there. So you guys let me know, have you seen that one right there? Don't know too much about it. It says, Fatal Attraction took audiences to terrifying new heights with this thrilling story of a casual encounter gone terribly awry. And there's a picture of Glenn Close kind of fighting him off. And, That's what I like to see, guys, is those kind of creepy movies. All right, next one, another blind buy. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts, Kevin Bacon. It is Flatliners. You guys let me know if you have seen Flatliners. I know they made a remake that got extremely Poor, poor reviews, so why not go back to the original, see if this one's, you know, as bad as this remake that came out, you know, more recently. Uh, uh, what year is this? This is 1990s right here. I believe this is something of the, uh, you know, to the effect of, like, uh, they, they slow down their heartbeat to go down to, like, the brink of death, basically. Uh, uh, but I don't know for what reason, though. I don't know. 
uh, to see if, oh, to see if there's life after death. So you guys have, let, let me know if you guys have seen Flatliners. Is it a good movie or is it totally going to just suck for me? <laughs> All right, next one I have seen a couple of times. Now, I know this one has gotten a lot of awards. This one actually won six Academy Awards, including Best Picture. It is Tom Hanks in Forrest Gump. Probably one of my favorite Tom Hanks characters, you know, out there. And if you're asking me which one is my favorite Tom Hanks character, oh, man. It, it, it's going to be a little controversial because a lot of people don't like this movie for whatever reason. It is his character in The Lady Killers. Watch Lady Killers. I'm still trying to get that on Blu-ray or a 4K hopefully down the line. I think it's only available on DVD. Lady Killers is a fantastical movie. Not only Tom Hanks' character in that movie, the movie as a whole, oh, it is so damn good. I, I, I just love the quirkiness of it and the ending is just like... Like, it's a very, very well-made movie, guys. Uh, but anyways, it's Forrest Gump. So, I need I say more on Forrest Gump? I remember this being an extremely long movie. That's Maybe that's why I haven't seen it. Okay, an hour 41 minutes. Maybe that's why I didn't have it on repeat so much. You guys know my attention span. But this movie, I remember being a, a, a great story. I laughed, I cried, all the above. So, I'll have to rewatch this one again because it's been about... About 15 years since I've seen it. So, uh, next up, guys, it is The Wolf of Wall Street right here with Leonardo DiCaprio, man. Jonah Hill, Robert Downey. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, Margot Robbie, I believe. This is like her first movie, directed by Martin Scorsese. This is a big film. This is a big deal when it came out. A lot of people was, were saying that he was robbed, you know, uh, of the Oscar again. Like, every, like, he was robbed for like the last 10, 20 years, man, of, of getting anything, uh, of getting any uh, big award or Oscars. Yeah, this movie is really, really cool, stylish, just uh, um, driven by greed and money and power, and this is all of the above, guys. Um, is this based on a true story, I want to say? Maybe not. I'm not really sure if, if that's the case, but this was a really damn good movie. Let me know if you guys have seen this one. Five bucks. I didn't have it in my collection, so it has a slipcover as well in a good condition. And next up is a complete blind buy, but a lot of people were like, you gotta check this one out on a first time watch. Now I can officially. I have it in my collection. Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's so cool, man, that I that I was able to find this one for five dollars. Because a lot of people keep these in their keep this one in their collection. Uh, maybe this per person probably got rid of it because they did release a 4K of this movie. So maybe that's the reason why. I don't know why you'd get rid of this. Uh, the only thing I know about this one is some people said that it was a dry watch. Not saying that the quality of this movie is bad whatsoever, but that it was a dry long watch like there's not that much going on in it but it's visually amazing so i guess i don't i don't i really don't know much about it I, stanley kubrick um space i don't know i don't even know the lead actor involved guys let me know am i gonna enjoy 2001 i do love stanley kubrick though from what i've seen so far yeah uh, and last but not least is the cheapest one of my, well, besides Rockstar, Rockstar was $2, but this one is my second cheapest. I couldn't believe it because I don't have it in my collection and it's one of my favorites in the series. It's Rocky Balboa. Now, I believe this is the sixth one because they did have Rocky Five, which I still haven't seen. A lot of people tell me to avoid that one, but Rocky Balboa is the Rocky that had the most heart, at least for me. This one, man, uh, the, the connection with him and his son, oh God, there's that one scene, man, it makes me, oh, it's so quotable, it's so great. If you if you know what you're worth, then go get what you're worth. Don't matter if it's him or her or who, or anybody telling you, 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 you can't do it, anybody. <laughs> that's my That's my impression, sorry guys. This movie is great. This is a five out of five. I can't wait to rewatch this one. Never give up and never stop believing. That's what it's about. And that's what the Rocky movies were at their core, guys. So those are my pickups, guys. I'm so excited I was able to... I, I couldn't even tell you how many I traded in. Because I, I wanted to say at the beginning that I turned in about 120, something like that. You know what? Give me one second. Okay. I have receipts. <laughs> okay, I thought I had receipts, but this doesn't have the detail on it. Uh, but pretty much, uh, from what I can remember, guys, it was... I believe they took about 75 pieces off me because it came out to about a dollar each. And they gave me back roughly about 50 to 60 
pieces of physical media and I showed you that a little earlier in the video guys. They were very, very common titles or just things that they probably couldn't resell. And um, yeah, I, so probably turned in about 120 pieces of physical media, got about 50 back and I was able to, out of 75 uh, dollars, get this much right here credit. So anywhere ranging from two to nine dollars. This is what I got guys. So yeah, I love kind of leveling up, so to speak, basically upgrading with movies that I know I'm gonna keep on my shelf. Right there in the back are some of the shelves that I still have to go through a physical media, watch them, and then kind of figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Am I gonna keep them on the shelf, in the big shelf, in the, <laughs> in the living room over there, or am I gonna just get rid of them completely, either donating them to Goodwill, or am I gonna donate them to this place where I can kind of level up? All right, guys, but anyways, you guys let me know about about my pickups what did you guys think if you did appreciate this video please give me a big thumbs up it always does help the channel I just do these videos kind of vlogs out and about just for fun just to kind of show you guys what's out there and what I'm adding to my collection let me know if you guys added anything to your collection recently by letting me know down in the comments below I would love to hear what you're adding either DVDs blu-rays 4ks 3d movies whatever have you guys let me know what you're adding to your collection recently and make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe and bell notification to always get alerted about future videos like this and hey if you guys are on social media make sure to follow me i will leave all of my socials down in the description below all right guys till next video i'm gone peace